and welcome back i hope you guys are having a wonderful friday goodness just man, i cannot wait for this weekend it's been a pretty long week anyway today is october 7th and we are going to compare ssp mp multi-purpose bursts uh, from the f64 okay i'm gonna shout out to joe from espresso outlet and then uh compare that with the Commandante, okay, Commandante C40. So this one, actually I did buy this, okay. It's pretty pricey though. It's about 300 bucks, 320 exact, 326 or something. Expensive hand grinder. If you're looking for hand grinder, I think this is up there, okay. So this is most, I say most popular, okay, most popular hand grinder in the world, perhaps. Okay, in the world perhaps because the commandant, commandant has their own the bird design really interesting uh, I don't want to say interesting but it's really good bird design they bring out all the sweetness and well balanced coffee so yesterday's video uh, I was comparing with uh, commandant C40 compare that with my K plus okay K plus yesterday and obviously okay I I think I forgot to mention yesterday. It wasn't fair comparison because Commandant has been seasoned nicely, okay? But my uh, K Plus, I only use about three times or four times at the most. So it's not seasoned, which means it gives you a lot more fine because the edges are a lot sharper. So it gives you a lot more fine. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't fair comparison. So having said that, I'm going to be seasoned my K Plus for the next couple of weeks. We're gonna go back to C40 again because I know a lot of uh, K plus, uh, you know, users out there. I know you guys are love the K plus, so you know what? I like to give them a fair shot. All right, but again, it's all subjective. Okay, the coffee is very subjective. So, but you know what? I mean, least uh, give you guys least kind of like starting point, give you some guideline there, so. Hopefully, you are going to make the right, you know, purchase decision. Again, there, you know, even K plus, you are looking at 150 bucks per K plus. So they're pretty pricey. So yesterday, I was we were playing with my home roast coffee. Turns out pretty nice. I have to say, I was very surprised by the coffee. But today, I'm gonna uh, use the real coffee this time. I don't want to say real, but so this is really good coffee from my buddy at Good Brothers Coffee, Columbia. Co surprisingly good okay surprisingly good so actually i'm gonna put the link down below as well i think Bryn told me he only have about 20 pounds and just make sure he uh, he doesn't have that on his website but it's called what roaster's choice make sure put down the columbia on it uh he knows what to do uh don't forget my coupon code as well okay use that code it's been around for like last three years so if you're if, if you never bought from brent Make sure to take advantage of that 25% off. All right, so uh, we're gonna brew with the V60. Uh, if you guys are curious about the grind setting, my grinder setting for my uh, DF64 SSP, it's gonna be uh, about like 42 clicks. And then for my Commandante, it's gonna be 10 clicks, okay? For Commandante, 10 clicks. Uh, with uh, DF64 SSP though, okay, SSP, you are looking at uh, 40, uh, about 42 clicks, all right, hold on, okay, so audio so, uh, sounds good, good, excellent, good, so let's put some coffee, okay, uh, water temperature, uh, we are looking at, I, I said at 94 Celsius as well, so 94 C, Okay, let's brew some coffee. By the way, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome to live streaming. Okay, I know people are wondering about my black glove. It's not a fashion statement. Okay, it's not a fashion statement. It's just uh, I have dry skin, dry skin on my fingertips there. So, yeah, trying to protect my hand so if you're brand new to the v60 i think that's the most affordable way to getting into pour over for sure because 
This is about what, $8, okay? And the paper is about what, eight, nine dollars. But most expensive part is the grinder, okay? Obviously, you know, you get a decent grinder for that. Make sure you get the decent grinder. It's a key. So I got SSP here on DF64 with the MP multipurpose and Commandante. Uh, okay, you know what? I gotta do some work. So I'm gonna be grinding 15 gram on Commandante, uh, 10 clicks. Man, it's gonna be, I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna time it. I bet you it's gonna be over, over a minute for sure. All right, definitely over one minute for sure. I say minute and tw minute, minute and twenty seconds maybe. Let's find that. I'm gonna set my timer. Well, I mean that's the great thing about uh, having a electric grinder. Actual grinder. You don't have to do this. You do not have to do this, man. <coughs> man. <coughs> this is pain. Okay, so uh, Joe is on the live chat right now. Uh, if you have any questions or comment about any DF64, okay, any DF, Joe's the guy, okay, Joe owns the espresso outlet, so make sure to ask him. All right, minute, one minute, goodness. Can you imagine if you're going to brew about what? Two or three cups every day. You know what? I think I I think I use the less quality, you know, lesser grinder than this one. Okay, so let's do the F64. Uh SSP. Man, that's it. Just uh, give it a couple pump. So now we have SSP uh, MP here. We got Commandante here. Let's brew some coffee. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera for a second. You know, let's start with uh, MP burst first, okay? Let's start with the MP. And then let's move on to Commandante after. I'm, again, I'm using the V60. I'm just gonna heat up. I kinda wash my paper first. You know what? I don't know. Sometimes it's not. Is it worth washing it? A lot of people say it is, but I try both ways. Still does exactly the same taste. So, but you know, I mean, I like doing it as part of my routine. So, <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> I got 14.7 gram. Uh, retain a little bit of coffee there. I'm just gonna make a little hole. I'm gonna be doing two poles. Bloom, and that's it. And then a uh, single pour after that. I'm gonna start with the 45 grams of water. Very high. I'm gonna do a gentle shake. 
I'm going to wait about 45 seconds. I'm going to wait about 45 seconds there. Uh, right now, we are a lot happening right now. We got degassing. Okay, uh, you know, let's wait about four, yeah, 40 seconds good. Okay, and at this time, I'm just going to go small circle here. In, it's out and in, very, very uh, tight. Nice and slow. Two twenty-five, and I'm going to do another gentle. That's it. Extraction time. I'm looking at around two minutes. Around two. Look at the time drawdown, it's about a minute and 50. Okay. Around two minutes. I mean, as long as anything under <clears throat> two minutes and 30 seconds, I'll be happy with it. Okay, we got our move, we got just past two, 220 right now. Getting very close. All right, so I'm gonna write down here about two minutes and 20, uh, about two minutes and 17 seconds. Okay, let's move on to be uh, Commandante. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm going to do the exact same process. I'm going to wet the paper. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, <coughs> welcome to live streaming. All right, here we go. Here is the C40, <coughs> Commandante. There you go. About 14, a little bit of retained, uh, you see the other static there, so it's about, about 0.1 gram hiding somewhere. I'm fine with it. First, I'm going to shake it. We're going to do 40 second balloon uh, from high though. Okay, I'm going to be agitate from high. There we go. <clears throat> Again, the gentle circle here. So degassing at the moment. I mean, I do enjoy the, the V60. I mean, this is really, I mean, it's more for the like, you know, the workflow and ritual. Very enjoyable. All right, and then we're just going to go at this point. That's it. Small circle in. We're going to just go out and in. Very nice and easy. Go all the way up to 225. There we go. Again, another just uh, easy. That's it. So two minutes and seventeen seconds here. Okay, for the MP birds. Well, let's find out about this coffee right now. 
Again, there's a Commandante, uh, about 10 clicks, and 42 clicks on uh, SSP. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, it's going to be very close to each other. Okay, 217 on this one, about two minutes on Commandante. Okay, about two minutes. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. All right. I'm using my, the brew stick here. My friends at Croup. Okay. Moment of truth. I'm going to start with MP first, and then uh, let's give it a try with Commandante C40. All right, so any guesses? Okay, so as you guys know, the MP does an amazing job with espresso, okay? Everybody knows. I mean, I like it too, okay? Uh, MP does uh, give you that really uniform, the particle size. Very uh, well balanced, bring out all the, you know, sweet, uh, people say a lot of, uh, people say sweetness a lot. The sweetness is just like another word for brightness as well. You know, so they're, they're fine. Okay. All right, so this is the MP. Cheers. Okay, very tea-like smell. Very wonderful, kind of like fragrance, kind of like perfume. Let's, yeah. Definitely, I can taste cherry. Or what else? Yeah, very cherry. The, the finishing of a cherry finished. More like, uh, the body is more like skim milk. Okay, skim milk there. Chocolate notes, very, very tasty, okay? So let's move on to Commandante C40. All right, I'm just gonna... Commandante C40 here. So C40 was about what? Just about two minutes for brew time, two minutes and 17 seconds for SSP. So is that 17 seconds make a huge difference? I don't know, let's find out, here we go. Okay, smells, smells the same. Okay. MP is a little bit more sweeter. Definitely I can taste the separation of that uh, tasting note. Oh yeah, I can taste the cherry, chocolate. Yeah, I can definitely taste that separately. Think of it as like, kind of like separate. Uh, you're looking at the plates, you're going to see the cherry there, you're going to see the chocolate there, a little bit of caramel. You can, you can actually taste it. For C40 right now, I can definitely taste the cherry, chocolate, but it's not like intense as MP. Let's put it that way. It's not an intense. It's good, it's sweet, but I felt like MP, uh, SSP MP give you that the separation. Okay, for sure. So right now I'm using the coffee from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee. <clears throat> it's called Columbia Cow Cow, okay. Actually, it's pretty inexpensive too. I think Brian, how much are you selling this per pound? I think he said what, sixteen dollars per pound, you know, per bag. So definitely worth it. Okay, I have to say, it's a really good coffee for sixteen bucks. So, and uh, I mean, if you want one, uh, don't forget to use my code. Okay, my code is a uh, 
you got 25% off, so that's definitely worth it. Hold on, let's try one more time. Okay. Compared to MP. So right now, the coffees are getting cooling down. Once you get cool, uh, hot from like getting, uh, getting cooler, you're going to taste even more. Okay, the even more. Oh, yeah. I th yeah, I think, uh, I think MP is pretty good. I have to say. MP, okay, you know what? I think they need to change the naming convention on from SSP because very confusing. SSP HU, which means high uniformity, okay? Just like names say, high uniformity. It's not, HU birds are nothing about high uniform. The HU is more like espresso birds. Okay? Give you a lot of fines, very robust. MP is opposite, multi-purpose, but MP give you the most uniform, the particle size for the 64 millimeters. So, Man, again, so if you guys are looking for, if you're planning on buying a DF64, I highly recommend just spend extra money. Uh, pick, the, pick the birds you like, okay? Could be HU, could be SSP, could be CAST, could be Gorilla Gear. I think I have a video, a video on that as well. Make sure to check it out because you only, you're only going to get one grinder anyway. Just make sure to find out what's the right fit for you, okay? So, if you're looking for clarity, okay? If you're looking for a very clean cup of coffee, MP is top, okay? MP, and then I feel like the cast is next. MP, Caspers, and then we got the HU and Gorilla Gear, okay? Around there, okay? So, uh, the H, uh, SSP family, HU give you the most, most fines, let's put it that way, all right? So you got the MP is the most clear cast and MP. No, I'm sorry, the HU, all right. Okay, so Joe asked cast versus MP, uh, V60. Uh, I did that last time, uh, cast, I mean, I like the cast. I have to see, yeah, I like the cast birds. I like the Caspers last time, so hold on. Uh, make sure if you are getting from Joe, okay, from Espresso Outlet, have them do the, all the work, okay? What I mean by that is have them install the SSP, have them align it, all right? I just pay extra few bucks to have them align it as well. Definitely worth it. Uh, Joe say HU are better for milk-based coffee, yep. So definitely, H U give you that really good, kind of like chocolatey notes, very like, you know, give you a lot of body to it. So if you are into, you know, Italian style espresso or like, you know, milk-based drink, I mean, H U, okay. But if you are into like filter coffee, light roast filter coffee, something more clear, uh, clean, I think, you know, just go with uh, uh, MP. Kind of like uh, Cass is like kind of uh, right between. Okay, someone is. Uh, do you have any bad side effect? Drink too much coffee. Uh, I don't drink a lot of coffee. Uh, pretty much. I mean, I don't finish these cups, right? That's the reason why I use a separate cup. So this cu uh, coffee, you know, I'm gonna share that with my friends around my complex so you know because uh, you know i own a small computer shop so i have my friends next door i usually make them iced coffee after this so yeah so i do not i drink about maybe maybe one cup at the most so yeah but again uh, i know some of you watching this right now they drink a lot of coffee goodness i know some of you drink about i know my friend uh, ryan he told me he drink about 100 grams per day, 100 grams of uh, coffee. No, I'm talking about the, the dose amounts, 100 grams. So he, he does about 25 grams per shot. So yeah, four shots. So yeah, so I mean, I drink about maybe a uh, maybe cup. Yeah, 
Let's see here. I think uh, we got some new people on, by the way. Okay, we got new people on. We got some some people just joining us for the first time. So yeah, this is great. Okay, you who's on? We got the Shane on. We got Jesse's on. Morgan, obviously. Yeah, Morgan drinks about seventy-five grams per day. I mean, that it is a lot, a lot of coffee. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got the Joe. We have two Joes. Okay. You know, I'm curious now. Okay, so now I got the. Maybe we should play with. You know, let's compare that with Marconi EK43 right now. Okay. Yeah, it's about 11 o'clock right now. Yeah. Because I do want to compare. Uh, wait, hold on. Joe say cast. Okay, let's do it with a cast. Uh, let's stay with the 64 millimeter. So let's uh, try with the cast birds. And then, so I need to figure out the grind size. All right. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to figure out the grind size right now. That's the reason why I have this notebook. Okay, so whenever I do it, I usually have a notebook, a uh, rec uh, record of my brewing method, and also uh, my grind size as well, just keep track of it. I'm just going to go back to way back when. 12, okay, hold on. I'm just going, if you're, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going through my old notes here, trying to, trying to guess. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to guess. So right now, my MP bird sets at around 42 clicks. So I, I think I'm going to pretty much do the same thing for my passports, around 40. Okay, here we go. Let me show you guys. So my uh, zero points are starting around 25. Okay, so I figure 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So which means I'm going to be around 60, maybe 65. Okay, about so 40 clicks right there. Something like that, okay. Again, I'm just guessing it right now, but so let's put some coffee with Caspers, okay. I'm just gonna fill up my water. Refill my water here. If you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome, okay. This is good. I cannot wait to brew coffee with the Caspers. We are going to use the exact same co uh, coffee here. Uh, Columbia from Good Brothers Coffee. I'm going to set up 15 gram. Okay, so before I'm going to grind something, what I like to do is I like to just flush it out. Okay. I like to flush out some coffee because obviously, you know, I have an older bean stuck there. Just like hand of coffee beans, just, just go through it. Again, we are doing the Caspers right now. So, so far, <coughs> the, 
the MP versus cast, I'm sorry, the MP versus Commandante. I like to give give it to MP. Okay. The water is almost ready. So we're going to brew another V60. The great thing about the V60, you just, just toss it. I mean, how easy is this? Uh, we're going to do a 94 Celsius. There we go. I'm going to do a quick wash. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's take a look. 14.7 gram. I know a little bit of retention there, but all right. Just gonna make a little tiny hole. I'm going to pull from the high 45 grams of water. I'm gonna wait about yeah, that's about forty seconds. Yeah, just a little bit of agitation there. Again, for about forty seconds. We are degassing at the moment. <laughs> okay, in the second pour, it's gonna be double pour. That's it. I'm just gonna go in, very tight circle and out for well, nice and easy and going in go all the way up to 225 that's it very simple v60 recipe Again, I'm trying to shoot for around two minutes. Okay, two minutes of brew time. I feel like that is like magic number for my taste. Minute and 40. Yeah, I think we should be, again, uh, Casper's, I set it around uh, about the same setting as MP, uh, about 40 clicks there. Yep, just about two minutes. Uh, looks pretty good. Two minutes and 10 seconds, 12 seconds, perfect. Okay. Let's give it a try. Right. So if you are just joining us, so we compare the MP versus Commandante. Obviously, I like the cup, uh, cup from first, and then after that, uh, we are going to compare with Casper's. Is there any difference in?
tasting notes. Okay, because obviously, uh, MP versus Comandante, I, I can tell the different uh, difference in uh, flavor, the taste. So this way is cast. Cheers. Okay, smells pretty good. Man. Boy. This is clean. Okay. Clean. Sweet. Air balanced. I'm I guess the my grind size too. Okay. I guess just guess it. 40 clicks. I'm okay, so I did test all three. I so far I like the the cast bird is the best. Okay. Sweet, balanced, uh comes to yeah. Uh, what, what else? A uh, very clean finish tasting notes. I can taste the cherry, caramel. It, it's, it's not overwhelming with body, okay? If you're looking for body to it, uh, this is, I mean, this gives you just enough body to, kind of texture too, okay? But if you guys are into medium to light roast, I think you're going to, I think you guys are going to enjoy the Caspers over uh mp burst for sure okay and so so next thing is i, I i'm not gonna do it today okay it's already I, I think i take too much time here but i'm not gonna do it today but maybe tomorrow okay we're gonna compare ek43 okay ek43 with 98 millimeter the ssp uh 2015 the Brewers from Marconi. So 2015 is and people love that you know to pre 2015 the bird geometry. Uh bring out the all the again the sweetness and well balanced cup of coffee. So maybe we should try that tomorrow. Cast versus the Marconi EK. But uh all three here cast my favorite so far and MP and Commandante. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, let me know. I mean, if you have Caspers at home, uh, if you are playing with Cast for a while, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Cast because comes to brew, they're great. Uh, filter coffee, they're fantastic. I do need to compare that with uh, espresso as well. So yeah, definitely we're gonna. It's again, guys. Once you're getting into the birds i feel like it's all as long as you, if you have a capable grinder doesn't matter you know 400 dollars df64 versus we have what 1700 dollars p64 comes to coffee uh i think i take the mp over hu from uh p64 so it's all depend on what you guys want just make sure select the get the right birds for yourself okay I think you're gonna make a uh, make a big difference in your, you know, your coffee experience. Okay, I highly recommend it. And again, if you have, if you have a money, it's not even money. It's time, though. Okay, you have to have a lot of time to even play with. You have to, ex uh, you have to like explore. You know, getting into that. I know we talk about the rabbit hole a lot on this channel. And again, you have to have time, just have some fun with, come up with the different recipes and, you know, different comparison if you have time. But if you don't have time at home, I mean, sk skip this, guys. Okay, it's not worth it. Okay, it's not worth just buying all this if you cannot, if you don't have time to enjoy your coffee in the morning. I know some of you out there just have the pot, okay? Just pot and make your coffee within a few minutes and go to work so again if you have time if you have the money to enjoy your coffee man this is really really fun okay this is really really fun you're gonna you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it I mean, because nothing like you know drinking great coffee 
anyway, I hope this video helps. And then, uh, again, tomorrow morning, uh, we are going to compare. I want to compare cast versus my uh, EK43. Has that, that, that thing is a monster. Okay. 98 millimeter SSP birds in it. It's, it should be fantastic. Should be fantastic. Uh, by the way, so again, thank you for joining us this morning. Shout out to Joe. And also, I'm going to shout out to Brent from Good Brothers Coffee as well. I think my coupon code is still good. So I'm going to put the coupon code as well. So you, get, you can get some good coffee for a discounted price. All right, guys. See you guys next time.